What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Daily Dose. I'm your host, The Venice Beach Rat. And today, we're going to be covering the book Designing Your Life by Bill Burnett and Dave Evans. So what's in it for you? How to build a well-lived and joyful life. There were six main points in this book, so let's go ahead and drop in. Main point number one, thinking like a designer can get you out of a rut and bring you more satisfaction and joy. My life rules. Living in my mom's basement is rad. Uh, If you feel completely content in your personal and professional life, consider yourself lucky. The truth is that most people are unhappy with at least some aspects of their life. And many worry that they've chosen the wrong profession. Matter of fact, in a nationwide poll, two out of every three workers in the U.S. express dissatisfaction with their current jobs. That's almost half. That's more than half. (laughs) And many feel trapped because of their degree choice. So what we need to do is redesign our lives to meet our needs and desires. One that allows you to be creative and fulfilled. People need the freedom to change and grow in both their personal and professional lives, no matter what their age. Remember, everything around you is designed. Your house, your apartment, your devices, mom's basement even your mom's basement so why not design your life too main point number two assess the four key elements of life what are those he always tells us oh yeah the first step to figuring out your current situation is to assess your health work play and love health includes your emotional mental and physical health work includes both paid and volunteer jobs i've never had a job we know play is any activity done simply for the fun of it and love applies to partners children friends and pets i do love our cats all 47 the goal is to find a healthy balance among all four and that precise balance is totally up to you so once you've made this assessment you need to assume what the author calls a beginner's mind like a noob like a total noob (laughs) for instance let's say you love seals so you're interested in studying marine biology ask yourself basic questions like what is the life of a marine biologist really like and how much actually involves seals by doing so you'll reduce the risk down the road main point number three keep a journal of your activities to live a joyful life it's important to know what engages you and what disengages you. So write down your experiences, both in bad times and good. People still write? I don't think so. Yeah. They do. This will help you understand what brings joy to your life and make a special note of when you experience flow, which is when you become completely immersed in an activity and time seems to fly by. Like when I'm surfing? Exactly. (laughs) Okay. Another clue to help you find your way in life are your energy levels. I drink a lot of energy drinks. We found that out. Some activities take their toll, while others can actually raise your energy. Every day involves both a physical and mental task. So make note of those that drain you and those that sustain you. He just rhymed. Must be a rapper. Understanding how to stay energized will be incredibly useful for redesigning your life. Main point number four, define your work view and your life view. Your work view is your own philosophy on work and what it means to you. Everyone has a different idea of what good work is. Maybe it's about the money. I like money. We know. Or maybe it's about societal impact. Likewise, your life view is your philosophy on life, meaning your personal values and perspectives on how it should be lived. Maybe you think society is unjust and want to get into politics to make a change. Or maybe you love the environment and want to live on a self-sustaining farm. That sounds great, man. Yeah, not bad. So now that you've reflected on these two areas, it's time to find a balance between the both. Both areas should remain aligned in their underlying values. And by taking both views into consideration when designing your life, you should be able to stay on course and know when to adjust your route. Main point number five, get unstuck by mind mapping. What the hell is that? I'll tell you. Okay. At one time or another, we've all felt stuck, like a cog in the machine, with nothing keeping us engaged or energized, waiting for the weekend to do the things that we love. Getting f- Okay. So consider the things you love doing most and free associate them with ideas and locations. This allows you to open your mind and begin to find your new path. Cliche alert. Uh, Maybe you love surfing. Yeah, I do. Me too. So consider relocating to a beach town and getting an outdoor job at the beach. Like a lifeguard. Exactly. (laughs) Main point number six. Give yourself options by designing multiple lives with parallel paths. That's weird. Hey, schizophrenic. There's no single choice that will lead to a perfect life. And you'll have many options to choose from even if they're not always obvious. So think ahead. Give yourself at least three options and don't rank them from best to worst. Instead, see them as equal because research shows that people who have multiple ideas for problem solving are much more likely to find innovative solutions. So keep an open mind and don't settle for a single path. This way, if your first choice doesn't work out, you'll have other perfectly viable plans to turn to. So that's it for this one, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these ideas in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And of course, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.